What's up guys? Welcome to your 112th Android tutorial for the new boss. And what we're going to do in this tutorial, we're actually going to set up our, um, well maybe, I don't know how much time we're going to have, but we're going to set up our uh, SQL Lite database. Now some of you guys might not even know what SQL is or what, you know, why we need a database. So what is SQL Lite database? Well basically it's a way for us to save a lot of information. You can think of it as like a spreadsheet, um, like a, you know, Excel. Um, spreadsheet something like that it's a lot easier to store data data and manage data you know pull data from your database um, so that's why you want to use databases and you can store a lot of information it's a lot easier to reference and all that good stuff so let's get into it um, the first thing we want to do is we want to open our hot or not class uh, this is basically where we're going to do all of our database stuff and we need to set up some variables and we want these variables to never change because uh, we're going to set up a database with columns and you know stuff like that and we don't want our column names to change because then you know it'd be hard to find that so what we need to do is we need to set up some values so we're going to say public static final uh, string and basically we're going to use strings for all of our database like uh, IDs the column names you know our database name, our table name, all that stuff, which I'll try and explain as we go through this tutorial. Um, for the most part, we're probably just going to set up our variables in this tutorial and kind of explain what they're going to do. Um, and again, public means that all of our classes can access this. Static final means we don't want it to change, and that's final. Uh, you know, there's no, no arguing these uh, variables are never going to change. And the first thing that we want to do is we want to set up an ID. So we're going to say key underscore row ID something like that and we're gonna set this equal to be underscore ID <clears throat> and there we go um, basically what this variable is gonna do is it's gonna give us you know the row ID every time we put something into our database it's gonna create a row starting at one and then the next time we enter something into our database that'll be row two row three and we just need a way to kinda of reference that so we're gonna do do it through this variable. Next thing we want to do, uh, we're just going to copy this and paste it a couple times. Uh, the next key that we want to have is we're going to say key uh, name, something like that, and we're just going to set this equal to uh, persons underscore name, something like that. Uh, again, this is just kind of a value that's going to reference the person's name according to you know the row ID, and it's going to get our the information from our database, um, and the key value is for our name. The next thing that we want to do is we want to set up also our hotness variable. So we're going to say hotness, and we're just going to say uh, like person's hotness. I don't know, something like that. Again, just a reference uh, that we'll use later. Next thing that we want to do is we want to set up our actual database, the name, and uh, you know each database has some tables within it. The tables have the rows, uh, which we set up here. Um, basically, our row, each row is going to have a name and a uh, hotness rating within the row. But we actually need to set up our database now. So again, we're just going to hit uh, paste, and this time we're going to say private, um, just so this class can access it. And we're just going to say uh, database underscore name. And we're just going to call this hot or not db, something like that. <clears throat> That's our database name. And then again, within our database, we can have different tables. Uh, for this example, we're just going to have one table. So I'm just going to copy this because again we want to be private whoops paste it and uh, database underscore table and we're gonna have this be our uh, people table something like that and lastly we need to give the database what version we're working with so again we're just gonna hit uh, Oops, this needs to be private, or it should be private. So copy and paste. We want to give it a version, so we're just going to say database version. Like 
this. And, you know, these references at the moment probably won't mean too much. Um, we're just going to set this equal to 1, and this is going to be an int. And right now, again, a lot of this we aren't using yet. Uh, we're just setting everything up, and we'll get into using these variables in the next tutorial. But again, uh, what I want you guys to know um, when we're working with databases, we have a database name um, that's going to reference our database. Within our database, we can store different tables, such as people table. And what we're going to do is we're going to set this table equal to hold all of these values up here. Our row, uh, ID, um, the name in that row, and the hotness in that row, or our value uh, for our attractiveness. So there we go. We set that up, and I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial. Have a good one.